everyone, I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic practical for light using a ray box. So first of all, we must have our ray box set up. And this ray box, as you can see, has been set up with a filter so that we can get a single ray of light. The thinner the ray of light, the better it would be. For the reflection experiment, in addition to the ray box, you're going to need a glass block, pencil, a long ruler, a protractor, and of course, a blank piece of paper. We're going to start off first by tracing the glass block on the paper. And making a marking on one of the long edges, we're going to use a protractor to measure out the normal line. And the internet angle, let's say our internet angle is 30 degrees. So I'm going to mark that over here. And we're going to connect the dots. This is the normal line. And this will be the incident ray. The internet angle is here at 30 degrees. Next, we're going to replace the glass block over the tracing and we're going to place the ray box on this side and we're going to switch it on and shine the light ray along the incident ray that we have drawn. As you can see, there is a little bit of light ray that's emerging, but it's not very clear. So in order for us to be able to see more clearly, we're going to switch off the lights. So as you can see in the dark here, it's a lot clearer. So using a pencil, we're going to make markings of crosses in the middle of the light rays far away from each other. Switching off the ray box now, let's remove the glass block. Using a ruler, we will connect these two crosses into a straight line and then we connect these two points which will form the refracted ray. In order to measure the refracted angle, we're going to place the protractor over here and we will measure the refracted angle like this. As you can see, the value is about 18 degrees. So we'll label that. This is 18 degrees. And that's how you conduct an experiment for light using a ray box with a glass block, protractor, a ruler, and a pencil. I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe with notifications on so that you can get more updates on videos from Ms. Ho about how to conduct experiments in the physics lab. Thanks for watching.